There are so many people that are working all day long doing something that is deeply unsatisfying and and almost painful, yeah. soul killing. They're yeah. stuck in traffic all day, and then they're stuck in a cubicle after that. They 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 relish the time to take a shit in the bathroom and look at their phone. I mean, they literally do that. That's a, a highlight of someone's day. If you work for a corporation, they have very strict rules that they'd like you to follow. There's behavior rules, there's language rules, there's dress rules, there's, you know, rules about the time you're supposed to be there and the amount of work you're supposed to do and what you're supposed to take home and what, what's required of you. People are conditioned to have someone tell them what they can and can't do. And then they get off on Friday and they can't wait to get drunk. And that's part of why they want to get drunk is they want to escape. They want to escape this, this grind of a world. You, you have an apartment you have to pay for, you have a car you leased, you have a wife that you have to feed, you have a child you have to raise, you have to, you have your mortgage, you have your this, you have your that, and that's where it all comes from. The way you can change is you have to put aside enough money to give yourself a window, and then you have to have a plan, and you have to spend all your waking hours outside of whatever shit job you do planning your escape, and you have to come to the realization very clearly that you fucked up and you got yourself stuck. So whatever you're doing, you have to do it like your life depends on it. If you're gonna try to be an author and you're working eight hours a day, plus commuting, plus family responsibilities, or whatever else you have, whatever time that you have, you have to attack like you're trying to save the world. You're trying to save your life. You don't want to drown. That one and a half hours a day that you have to write, God damn, you better be caffeinated and motivated. You gotta go, you gotta get after it. And you gotta have discipline. That's most people don't have those things. Most people don't understand what it's like to to really go for something and to know that the consequences of not doing that are horrific. If you make furniture, you make furniture for a living and you, you feel a great satisfaction out of that and you sell that furniture, look man, for making furniture feels good. If you can do that, you could you could cut those corners perfectly and sand everything down nice and stain it and then it's done and you get the satisfaction and you sell it to someone and that pays your bills, that is infinitely more satisfying than being stuck in some cubicle working for someone that you don't want to work for having to have these stupid office meetings, talking to people in human resources, sitting down with your supervisor where they evaluate your job performance and you know you're not really you know you, you really need to be enthusiastic about this company. This company is your future. This kind of like you like kill me now. You know there's a lot of people out there that would way rather do something else and I hope they understand that they can. Well it's been never been easier to have a website either. With companies like Squarespace you could develop a website. They have these drag and drop user interfaces. You use photos, you drag them out of there, size it in place, boom. Next thing you know you've got a website. So a person who can become autonomous, a person who can have their own job where it's their business or it's their product that they're selling, or their art that they're selling, or there's something where you could be self-sufficient. That is the biggest freedom that a person could have in this culture. And most people don't have that.